Well, good evening, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are around the world. Welcome, everyone, to the call. Welcome to our amazing Sunday night leadership training. We have um, some good training in stores for you this evening. My name is Shanaira Richardson and diplomat with Global World Trade, and it is absolutely my pleasure to be your host this evening to introduce to you our amazing uh, top leader that will be training this evening. Now, this gentleman was a former government employee, as many would say, he had a cushy job. He launched his VDM in 2005, but did nothing because of his squishy job within the three years. However, because he understood the power of, of staying on IA, he invested in his IA uh, month after month, and he never stopped investing in his IA. Three and a half years later, his VDM accumulated over seven million in sales, and he went on after realizing that he started working in his business. Within six months, he made twelve thousand per month, and he gets even more excited that within eight months he made twenty-seven thousand per month, and after that he went on to hit it, hitting a, a million in earnings. He's won many um, awards, many leadership awards, including um, the President's Cup, which is our prestigious award in the company. He's won the President's Cup not once, but two times um, with Global Wealth Trade. He's one of our top mentors, trainers, and our first millionaire within the company. Um, he's always there to support us regardless of how busy of a schedule that he may have. He's always there um, to encourage us, support us um, around the world. So, ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome our national ambassador, Mr. Reza Mizgalu. Reza, are you with us? Yes, Shunaira, I'm here. You can hear me? Yes, we can hear you loud and clear. Take it away. Thank you very much, Naira, for the kind introduction. Um, tonight, uh, we're going to uh, basically go over um, the foundation, what we need to get started. I mean, uh, I've been in the industry for a very long time. Um, I was, you know, I actually was introduced to this industry uh, when I was barely out of high school. I guess you could say I was always an entrepreneur at the time, uh, you know, had a, a restaurant franchise and uh, you know but what didn't make sense to me was that yes I'm making decent money at the time but I was working 80 hours a week and I look at it after a while I mean it didn't seem like um, it was gonna get any easier the hours wise that I needed to put in and to make things even better um, Basically, uh, we hit a, uh, my first taste of recession, I should say, um, you know, while I was in business. And I realized that my business relies on my local economy. I am at the mercy of my local economy. So if the economy is bad and they got restaurants popping up everywhere and the giants are literally giving away their food for free, um, you know, uh, for someone like me, it has a big impact in a negative way. So I said, you know what, I was looking, I was, you know, wondering what is it that I could do, that I could work hard. I'm not afraid of working hard. As long as I believe this hard work is going to be long-lasting. And at the time, I'd heard about uh, the residuals, I've heard about the uh, royalties uh, that people were earning, whether they were musicians, authors, I mean, uh, you know, artist. So what I what I wanted to do was, you know, when I came across this industry, he made a lot of sense. He made a lot of sense. Working hard for three to five years, that's what I was told. Working hard for three to five years and take the rest off. To me, that was a great deal. You know what? What do I got to do? Show me. I'm willing to work hard for three to five years because my plan A, I've got to work till I'm like 65 years old, if not older. So this three to five, just let me know what I got to do. 
and I'm going to get it done. And I was introduced to this industry, uh, you know, I came with no baggage because I have no experience in the industry. I was fresh, they introduced it to me with the company that I was with, and you know, I, I got to work. And uh, basically, uh, it, a lot has changed since then. Uh, a lot's happened since then. Not to uh, mention that I, it took me 16 years of trying to find the right company. Okay? To find the right company, and that right company happened to be Global Wealth Trade, and this is what the promise of the industry is all about. Uh, having the right company with the right people behind it, and build the residual for generations to come. But before we go to get ahead of ourselves, I'm going to tell you, we're going to talk about a few things. <clears throat> um, first things first, uh, we're going to talk about mindset, okay? Mindset is everything. We need to, uh, you know, uh, have the right mindset in anything that we do. In anything that we do, it has to be a mindset. And the mindset, I did a, I did a training in 2008. I was um, barely, I don't know, but maybe about seven, eight months in the business, had some great success, and I was asked to do a training at the convention. Um, they gave me a half hour <laughs> to do a training for the field, and my very first training was the tripod of belief. Uh, you know, there was a tripod on the stage, there was lights on it, heavy lights, cameras on it, and so on and so forth. And I used that tripod as an example. I said, this tripod works great in the holding the weight of that camera. The other tripod works great in holding the weight of the heavy light that's on top of it. And he would probably hold five times that weight because it's a tripod, a strong tripod. And from what I can see, every leg on that tripod is solid. So I used that tripod as an example. And, um, you know, I, 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 I matched it up with our industry. What it is, what is the ingredients, what do we need in order to be successful in our industry, okay? Um, because I'm in the industry, so I related to my industry. And it came in three different, just like a tripod, it has three legs. Uh, belief in the industry, you need to understand the industry. You've got to be highly, uh, you know, uh, believe, understand. This, is, this industry, there's nothing like it out there. I mean, where else can somebody, an average person, start with very minimal investment and be able to make some substantial earnings for generations to come with the right company, right? So, industries first. I needed to, you know, we're going to talk about industry. We're going to talk about the company because you have to believe in your company. It's like you're getting in a marriage. Are you going to marry anyone that you don't believe in? I hope not, even though it does happen often. But you know what? You got to believe in your company. You got to understand where it's coming from and where it's going. And more, last but not least, you got to believe in yourself. Um, you know, these are the three areas that we're going to, uh, you know, touch on. So first thing is first. Um, having a little okay we're going to talk about the industry first okay no other industry has created more millionaires than direct sales if you're not aware of that make sure you're aware of it make sure you understand how powerful this industry is I know people um, I, have, I mean I met, I met thousands of people I've had conversations with thousands of people I have more conversation on a daily basis with people there are some people that are highly educated about the industry, and there are some people that are really ignorant about the industry. They have no idea, some people, that what this industry is all about. All they heard is Aunt Sally did something and it didn't work out. All they hear is that somebody told them something out of ignorance, and that's the only thing they know. So what, so what I do is I ask them questions. What do you know about the industry? Explain to me what the industry is all about. And you'll soon understand 90 Seven, ninety-eight percent of people don't have no idea what they're talking about the industry. That is a fact. Okay? So, this industry is an amazing industry, unbelievable industry, and you know what? Like I said, no other opportunity allows you from a small invest investment to have some substantial income, substantial return, not just today, but for generations to come. I do this not just for me, but for generations to come, for my children and their children when I'm gone, and their children 
group so they can turn around and say, you know what, uh, 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 thank your grandpa or great grandpa. Uh, he started something, and today we're running it, and today this is where we are, and we've had a good life because of my great grandpa that we've never met. So this is how I do it. Basically, uh, this is kind of this is the kind of industry that you can work in. You know, we all have jobs. I had a job when I got started here. I had a job. And when I decided that I wanted to get going, that I wanted to get start uh, applying myself, that I wanted to get rid of my uh, job, I needed to uh, make some time for this. A again, different people, different reasons why they join our company. Some people want to make extra four, five, six hundred dollars a month, thousand dollars a month. Nothing wrong with that. And there's some people like myself that you know I want to have that big money and the free time. So whatever the case. You have you make your own hours in our company, in our industry. You make your own time. You decide to work in a few hours after work every day or uh, every second day or just on the weekend. I mean, it's all entirely up to you, depending on what your targets are, how big you want to make it, how fast you want to make it. But you have the flexibility to work this business. You have the flexibility to decide and make your own hours. This is unbelievable, okay? and yet get a great return, okay? That is something that I know over years, thousands of people that I know have joined this industry just to, you know, so they can have their own time. They don't have to have a second uh, part-time job or a second part-time or third part-time job. That way they're from comfort of their own kitchen, their own home, they can do this business and earn income. Tax deductions, all right? I know uh, many countries in the world they want us to have our own home-based business. They want us to you know, work from home. As a matter of fact, I know some federal government and provincial government employees are allowed to work from home. Okay? Now, the, 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 the government is allowing us to have our own home-based business. And because they're allowing us to have our own home-based business, they're giving us some unbelievable tax, tax, tax advantages, tax deduction advantages, that we can deduct what we normally could not. Our travel expense, our food, our insurance, our internet, our cell phones, our home phones, our, our flights, our hotels, our, I mean just about everything. I'm not going to play accounting here, and there's not a training for that, but the tax deductions alone, I've known so many people over my 25 years in the field that really didn't even need a home-based business. They were making great income, but they wanted to keep, they wanted to save on some on taxes, so they started their own home-based business, okay? Low risk. I mean, any legitimate company that you get started with this in the industry, is, it should be very low risk. I mean, let's, let's talk about Global Wall Trade. Someone that joins, whether it's at $169 or $3,099, I mean, we all know what we get back in return, all right? You get your own website and your own shopping cart and in some cases up to $6,000 in products back. So even, even if it did not work out for us, or we didn't work, or whatever the deal is, you got $6,000 worth of products, not pre-selected, it gets selected by you, you choose what you want, even if you sold it at the face value, not only you got your money back, but because of the tax advantages, you actually made money, because you're writing off so many things. I mean, it's a win-win situation. You cannot say, I lost money with Global World Trade. No one can go out there and they say they lost money with it, okay? And... Uh, you gain experience by owning your own business. I know many people, whether out of high school, out of university, or out of, I don't know, some cases marriage, that they never had a business of their own, uh, or, 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 or maybe they got let go from their uh, jobs. Uh, you know, they, they own their own business and they gain experience with this. And it's, this, is, this experience goes a long way. What I learned 25 years ago is what's, uh, what, what's allowing me to do do what I do today. It's what's allowing me to go forward and so on and so forth. Okay? Belief in the industry anyways, basically uh, uh, Warren Buffett, Donald Trump, Robert Kiyosaki, Bill Clinton, Wall Street Journal, I mean these guys are all not only a big fan of the industry, they all have their own uh, companies. They have their own, uh, some of them, I believe, <laughs> uh, Warren Buffett, I believe he has seven or eight companies that are in direct sales. So if direct sales was no good, these people would not have their hands and name all over it. 
if you tell them you don't recognize any of these names, then you really definitely need to do some, uh, you know, uh, educating yourself, uh, get on the net and start doing some search, start reading up. These are the people, Wall Street Journal, they had, I remember not long ago, I believe it was a three or four full page, maybe it was six page article about direct sales and how wonderful it is, okay? Industry has been around over 60 years, okay? And it's come a long way. It's just like the vehicles of 60 years ago. It's, it's come a long way. Uh, it's uh, becoming different. It's just, it's unbelievable of what's happened with this industry over the last 60 years and the residual income. This industry allows us to work it hard once and enjoy it forever. I enjoy my life today and make the residual I make today based on my first 18 months. I'm not saying I'm not working it now, I'm working it now, but this is the only thing I do now. I make my calls when I can, when I want. I uh, do my meetings, whether it's online, whether it's in person, whether it's uh, group meetings, whether it's group trainings. Uh, I just got back from Montreal, uh, you know, I'm going to Toronto tomorrow. I do it on my own time, I do, I, I set it up and this is based on the work I did my first 18 months to have the residual income that I have today. And guess what guys, it keeps getting bigger, regardless of my input, it keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So you know what, if you have any question about the industry, you should not get involved unless you have a strong mindset about it, you understand it, you have done your due diligence, and you've done your homework. You have to be a big believer of the industry because it's one of the strong legs of this tripod, okay? So that is about the industry. The next leg for the tripod is the company. Um, I don't know how much you guys know about the company. I don't know if where the company is coming from, the heritage dating back to 1880s in manufacturing and starting its own design line in 2005, nine years running strong with nine year track record. I don't know if you guys are aware of the accolades. I mean, that will take days to, to, to see on YouTube and, and, and find out all these accolades that's come our way. That's unbelievable, all right? So it's not a, like a fly-by-night company. It's not like a company just started today and we don't know the, what's going to happen tomorrow. You know, that, that just blows me away. It just blows me away when someone says um, they want to wait and see how things go before they join. Well, let me see. You want to wait to see how things go. How long do you want to wait? The company is almost 10 years old. You're waiting, maybe they're going to go out of business uh, on the 10th year anniversary? Or they're going to go out uh, tomorrow? <laughs> so that just, that, that just blows my mind. You got an unbelievable track record, so you got to check it out. Uh, over 120 celebrities. It's over a few hundred celebrities now. This slide is a little bit outdated, okay, that we have over a few hundred celebrities, okay, that are our customers and forever will be, all right. These people are not endorsed. We do not pay for endorsements. These are the celebrities that saw our stuff. They saw it in the media, Toronto International Film Festival. Uh, I mean, they saw it. They saw it at Emmys. They saw it at Golden Globe and Oscars. And, I mean, they see us. They love it. They fall in love with it and they, they purchase it. So this is the celebrities. We've been featured in American Business Journal twice and once on the front cover. I remember one edition was Warren Buffett, the next one was our CEO, Global World Trade. So that is not uh, your little local uh, corner store of whatever the, the magazine and journal. This is American Business Journal. Again, look it up, what American Business Journal is all about. They featured us twice. We're on the Canadian Business Journal. Again, that's another big, huge magazine, right? Uh, we were in Prestige Magazine, check it out, look it up. We were featured in Regard Magazine three times, front cover and eight page spread. Like that is insane. I believe Regard Magazine is a roughly, uh, I know it's over 60, 70 or 80 dollars per copy. This is a high-end magazine that it features high-end products and they featured us three times. That is like wow, okay. Uh, we were featured in Canadian Jewelry Magazine three times. This is a magazine that is not for locals. This is not for public. This only gets sent out to the jurists, the jewelry stores. 
every jewelry store in Canada, legitimate jewelry store in Canada, receives this magazine. And we were featured in it three times, how they call us the best of the best. The basically be uh, setting milestone after milestone about what jewelry is all about and what we have our products are. Okay? We were featured in Preferred Magazine again three times. They decoded us as a top ten masterpiece of all time. Basically the front cover, our timepiece, uh, basically was um, uh, paired up with the top ten timepieces like uh, time pieces like uh, Rolex, Patek Philip, and so on. That is huge, all right? Uh, this magazine is really high-end, and you can see, uh, once you get a hand on it, you'll see the models wearing our Hugo Boss, they Hugo Boss, Versace, and also Ferry Silver, right there, okay? Um, we're featured in the Network Marketing Business Journal, okay, twice, okay, as a company of the month. That is unbelievable. That is, again, something that you guys can easily, if you don't have a copy of it, I'm sure there's some members that have a copy of it. If not, you can just look it up. And they call us, we're in a class of our own. Imagine this. This is the magazine that is, a, that is catering to network marketers, and they call us in a class of our own. That is unbelievable. Better Business Bureau. I don't know, uh, most people know what Better Business Bureau is. We have an A-plus ranking on Better Business Bureau. That is like unbelievable. After so many years, and I don't know, hundreds of thousands of pieces of jewelry that's been sold, that's been sent out, and we still have a AAA ranking, that is unbelievable. Now, products like 950 Selladium, 19K and 21K, uh, you know, one of other brands, Plankston, I mean, these stuff is industry first. We do not see these things. These things did not exist. These are all the creation of our company, Global Wealth Trade, that give us the best products with no competition for us to go build that fortune, go deliver our message and get paid for it highly. Okay? Now, okay, let me see how we can... <laughs> now, we're the only company in the world that allows us to buy and sell the fairy brand, fairy mosh, posh, and so on, okay? And earn residual income with it. There is no Versace, uh, Hugo Boss, Armani, they're going to say, okay, come and uh, share the wealth with us. No, they don't. They have employees that give them, they, they pay them whatever they pay them, and they keep all the profits. Therefore, very, very wealthy family in all the big names, right? Here, we actually have a chance to market these world's greatest designer goods. I mean, look what it, the kind of noise it's made in a short few years. We get a chance to partner up with it and get the name out and get paid highly for it, okay? This is the only company in the world that has Plankston. I mean, Plankston does not exist. Uh, you know, this is uh, basically we have, uh, the only product in the world, the Plankston, 19K gold, 21K gold, uh, you know, and so on. Uh, if you want to know how Plankston is made, you, that's again from product training, but if you think that you've never heard of it, look it up. All right? Look on the product. So we have some unbelievable products uh, at our disposal for us to go out there and market. All right? And now we're going to talk about the compensation plan. Uh, I've, been at the, I've been in the street for about 25 years and I've seen thousands of compensation plans, believe me. I've seen them all, every single one of them I've seen. And when I'm telling you that we do not have a competition when it comes to a compensation plan, believe me on that. There is nothing out there that will pay you the way GWT pays. This is by far, it's not even close, it's not like we have someone that's, you know, not as good as us, but they're okay. No, no, no. Every one of them claim that they pay 40, 50, 60 percent. Look, look inside. Look it. Look it and understand it. Check it out. It is false. Nobody pays like Global Wealth Trade, variable binary, no hurdles, no ranks, no levels, and so on. Okay? So basically, uh, if you go to RGWD, you see a lot of comparisons. I believe there's hundreds of them. <laughs> that uh, our uh, National Ambassador Rene Liao did a direct comparison with, it will blow your mind 
whether you work with one of those companies or not, just go look at the comparison on the payout. There's absolutely nothing out there, you know, that pays like we do. We in global wealth trade, we only have two teams, the left and the right. These other programs, they have so many uh, ranks, levels, uh, qualifications. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. All right. And if you look at the total payout, every single one of them, you will see that they do not come even remotely close to what Global World Trade pays. Here you got two teams, the left and the right. I was with programs that used to have 300 legs. I needed to keep building legs after legs after legs. Because if I didn't, I would get a pay cut. Because people that are rising to the top would take away from me those bonuses and so on. Okay? So here we keep our bonuses. We keep our residuals. Not to mention we have the highest paid residual out there. Go to our GWT family and take a look at it, right? Earning per distributor. That is, again, a big one. I, I, I was accustomed to that, hey, if you want to make 10000 a month, you've got to build a ten, team of 10000 That's only if you were with a good company. Okay? Because they pay up to a dollar per distributor. Here we pay 10 to 15, in some cases 20 times that. So, again, no comparison. Retention ratio. I remember I used to lose my team faster than I used to build it. I constantly hustled, I constantly ran, I constantly did tours, I constantly brought people in because I knew at the end of the year, if I'm lucky, I'll have 10% retention. 90% I would have quit and gone. Our ratio here is unbelievable. Our ratio here is like six, seven times that of people that stay around, whether they're active or not, whether they're making big money or not. People love Global World Trade for various different reasons and they stick around. They stay. They love the products, so they stay. In our company, we do not have flush, you know, volume flush. Volume flush basically is, let's say, you join the business, and because we only have two teams, one of your team, uh, you know, is growing, it's growing massively, or uh, you brought someone that's growing one of your teams massively, and uh, what the companies do, they don't want those volumes to accumulate too much, so they have some flushing of their own. They pay you on the small leg, they flush the big leg. Some of them, they, at the end of the year, they don't allow your volume to accumulate more than a certain amount. They flush the rest. I mean, there's so many different ways. These guys are master flushers in this, business, in this industry. All these companies, all they know is how to flush your volume, your hard-earned volume, so they don't have to pay you. Like Shania, I mentioned a little bit earlier, I joined in 2005, but I didn't stop building my business till 2008, three and a half years later later to be exact. When I decided enough is enough, I got to get to work and I got to start, you know, getting rid of my job, I had accumulated $7.5 million worth of volume in my left team in my absence. If there was any other company, good luck. You're going to start get started, you know, you're not going to have nothing accumulated for you, right? Cap on volume, which I already talked about. There's no cap on that. We get paid to infinity, uh, you know, it could be 3,000 generation on your left or 3,000 generation on your right. You get paid on all the volume. You pay on, on, on all legs. We only have two teams left and the right and we get paid on all of it. We don't get paid on a small personal team. We don't get paid uh, up to only certain level deep. We don't get, we get paid what you see every 5,000 points. Every time we call that a cycle. You get paid your commission until infinity. We talk about no ranks. You know what? You joined today. I joined uh, six and a half years ago. We do the same amount of business. We get paid the same amount of money. There's no, no such a thing that because I joined so long ago and I become a national ambassador, so my commissions are going to be higher than yours. No. We do the same work. We get the same volume. We get paid the same amount of residuals and so on and bonuses and so on, right? No levels. We have no levels. Again, we talked about that already. No flushing of volume, we talked about that. No cap on volume or carryover of volume. Okay? Uh, we talked about that. Year over year over year, your volume will accumulate and build. Okay? You don't have to worry about losing volume because you didn't cash it yet. Uh, we, are, we have the first free flowing variable binary compensation plan in the world. A lot of people wondering what that is. 
free flowing. When you tell them binary, you say, oh yeah, I know binary. I'm like, believe me, you don't. Oh yes, I do. My this my current company is a binary. My last company was a binary. I'm like, no, we got a variable binary. And let me show you how we have no ranks, no levels, no flushing, no this, no that. We get paid on both legs. And when I show them what variable means, they get absolutely blown away. Absolutely taken by this compensation plan alone. I'm talking about people who understand compensation plans. Just because someone's with another company and they're just repeating things like a robot means that they know what they're talking about. Believe me on this, 90 some odd percent, percent of people out there, they think they know what they're talking about their compensation plan, but they have no clue what they're talking about. They're just repeating things like a parent. Sit down, understand your compensation plan, become a master, no one, absolutely no one. You can go out there and be confident that you have the absolute best compensation plan in the industry, okay? Uh, our products, we have the kind of products, not only they don't get outdated and you got to throw in the garbage or become stale or become moldy or become whatever, <laughs> our products gain value. Our products, uh, you know, you buy it or, you, you know, it just silver, gold, I mean, you know designer goods, they gain value, they don't go bad. Our products don't expire, they have no shelf life, okay? They don't need to be tried for three months, like we used to tell people when I was in health and nutrition. You know, here's our juice, here's our cookies, here's our shakes, here's our vitamins, here's our cancer uh, relieving uh, medicine, or whatever you want to call it. I mean, there was so much claim going on that was like unbelievable. Try it for three months. So you got to make a three month commitment of buying my products, then you'll see results. With our stuff, it's transparent, okay? You look at them, we got 1,400 different high-end items. I mean, you either love our products, one of the 1,400, or you don't. It's not like you gotta try it for three months if you like it or not. And believe me, whether you're a jewelry person or not, whether you're a shoe person or not, whether you're a belt person or not, whether you're a fragrance person, I mean, we have so many unbelievable products that someone will see something that they like. Our products don't lose value, like I've talked about it already, and we can, you know, uh, pass these products down generation to generations. My son, my seven-year-old is already claiming all my watches, and I told him there is one uh, Aries, my uh, uh, fairy Aries, and I told him that, you know, he asked me about it, because that's really nice. I said, yeah, baby, don't worry, it's yours. Once you can fit on your hand, once you become a little bit older, that watch is yours. He goes, promise as I promise. As a matter of fact, all the watches are yours. So I said, I said, by the way, this watch is a collector's item because they don't make them anymore. He goes, oh, great. So they will take care of it. So I go, of course, don't worry, it's yours. He sees me wear it about a week later, he gets all upset. He says, you told me it was a collector's item and you were going to give it to me, so why are you wearing it? And I'm like, well, I didn't say I wasn't going to wear it. I said, I'll take care of it. He goes, no, it's mine and they don't make it anymore. So do not, you know, wear I'm like, okay, I promise I will wear it. So this is something you can pass on generations to generations, and believe me, they will appreciate it. And these things are all investments, okay? Uh, they only gain in value. I mean, I have a, uh, a couple of fairy marsh pieces, I have my president watch, I have my silver, uh, you know, rings and bracelet, and I mean, they have so, so many unbelievable stuff, and these things are it's not like, okay, they're outdated, I gotta throw them out, or, you know, they gain in value. That is, you know, what's wonderful about our stuff, all right? Uh, Ramin has a video put out, uh, and it's on YouTube, the top, top 25 reasons why GW products are the best, okay? And then the, basically number one was about natural high profit, all right? They got high profit, it's not like cookies and juice that we make a couple of dollars on each. All right. If you go when you when you go buy yourself a piece of jewelry from I don't know Peoples or whatever. I mean, they're not. I don't want to compare them to us because they're nowhere near what we are. But it's, I'm just using as a figure of speech and you know example. Any jewelry store, these guys are two to three hundred percent. They basically uh, they bring their price up. I mean, the profits are two to three hundred percent. Some cases five hundred to a thousand percent. That's just the jewelry world. That's just what they do globally, okay? And with us, we don't, we're not like them, but we got, you know, uh, high profit uh, items. We don't sell a bottle of juice 
uh, that's going to last the client, uh, client for a month for 30 bucks and sell them another juice at the end of the day. Hopefully be able to sell them another bottle of juice after 30 months, right? 30 days. So our stuff is high profit. I mean, look at myself, look at yourself. We never stop buying stuff for ourselves. That's how desirable our stuff are. Now, if we get this out to the public, we'll have that kind of a clientele. Our products are visual. I, not a day goes by, I don't get complimented on my watch or shoes or my wallet or, or rings or whatever, or bracelet. These are visual. Like our CEO says, people cannot see your business card from across the room, but they see your ferry. People will approach you. And many a time, they want to know what brand that is. Cultural, basically, you know, unique. Uh, value versus benefit. We don't have to, you know, uh, uh, <coughs> like I said, claim uh, the, the, you know, the, the benefit of these products. The value people get over it, right? Tangible product lines and product increases in value. We talked about that already. Now, uh, no competition. We talked about that already. This company, I mean, what it's done in a short nine years, going on ten, no competition. Believe me on this, I had about 140 watches prior to Global Wealth Trade. Since Global Wealth Trade, I have an additional uh, dozen of them, Global Wealth Trade ferry watches. And I tell you, I am a watch fanatic. We have nothing that compares. Just not just our watches, our silver line, my rings, my gold. I mean, my shoes. I just got them recently. Like, wow! I have all kinds of shoes. Believe me, whether it's a Versace or Armani or or or, or Prada. I mean, <laughs> everybody move away because the real deal has arrived. This is what we have in terms of products and. The way the products are put together in this company, it makes sure we have no competition. Okay, a flagship, vast selection of flagship products. It's unbelievable. I'm like, just when I think that we have so much products, we end up getting more. Like, wow, how am I supposed to be able to keep up with purchasing all the stuff that I want? So you know what I mean? Uh, in terms of, many of you might uh, wonder, how could we be in 92 countries already? Well, you know what? Because our products are visual, appealing, people want them, and they're pre-approved internationally. We don't have to worry about, uh, you know, uh, will, will this certain co uh, country allow our juice or shake or their health and welfare uh, sector let, us, let our products to go in because they have to approve it first. Our products are gold, silver, designer goods. We are pre-approved worldwide. Canada being a multi multinational, basically Canada. Canada, it's growing into 92 countries. People know people that know people that come from different places. 92 countries and counting, okay? Uh, the products have a very uh, verifiable retail value. I mean, our products come certified. Our products come appraised. Uh, you know, our jewelry and the gold line. I mean, they all come with IGI and GIA. I mean, different certificates. And uh, you know what? Uh, the shoes that just came recently. I looked at them, I mean, leather underneath, I mean, the stitching, the, 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 the detail, I mean, the quality, the, just unbelievable, unbelievable. I know a mediocre shoe, similar to what we have, not similar, but kind of like variation of what we have, because none of them have the detail, the quality, the fit and finish, none of them. But like, let's say you find a shoe that's got a leather sole and it's got, you know, some goodies with a big name, you're still going to pay. Eight, nine hundred dollars, thousand dollars for that, that, that for that for that shoe, which you cannot find what we have in, in global oil trade. Now this is something that you know anyone that's uh, knowledgeable in shoe, I'll have to do show of mine, and they look at it like wow, okay. Media accolades, again we talk, talk about that already. It's countless the accolades that we have, unbelievable. It'll take days upon days. What I needed to do some seven years ago trying to convince people or uh, assure them that this company is great and is going to go places. Today, I don't have to tell them they're great. I don't have to tell them we're going to have uh, people making so much money. I don't have to tell them that we got products and celebrities all over the world wearing. This is media accolades is available with a click of a button. 
I just let the videos do the work for me. Okay? Uh, like I said, our products are authenticated and certified. That is something we already talked about. And it's a recession-proof industry. All right? This is something that it's a want-based product, and people get what they want. I mean, take a look around on a daily basis. You'll see people that, you know, I know people personally that they couldn't even afford a bus pass, but they're carrying their designer purse and bag and designer shirt or designer pants or designer, you know. So this is recession-proof in the industry that we're in. And uh, when I was at the restaurant and when the recession hit, I was at the mercy of my local economy. Guess what? I had to work twice as hard, cut staff, be very careful, so hopefully we can outlast this industry. With this business, we don't know when it's recession. As a matter of fact, when the global recession hit, we started to set all kinds of records worldwide. It is the opposite our business, our you know, company. So this is your number 15. Uh, want products versus need products. We talk about that. People want these things, so they get them. Need, if someone needs to eat, you know what? They want, maybe it's 10 times the tough, they want to eat steak. They'll just have some bread and cheese or water or bread, you know. But want is basically what people want, and no matter what happens, they'll get it. Okay? I remember myself, I was, uh, in, uh, I believe I was like 14 or 13 or 14 years old and on my way to work I had a job at a restaurant after school I used to walk on one of the main streets in Ottawa and there was a stereo shop they had the biggest ghetto blaster you could ever see anywhere I could not believe how big this ghetto blaster was it was gorgeous I mean SW bands and AM bands and FM bands and double dual cassette. I mean, all kinds of equalizer built in. I mean, it was insane. But it was also a thousand dollars. This was back in the early eighties. A thousand dollars. I was working for four bucks an hour. This kid of last was a thousand dollars. I made sure to save enough money before I go back to school in September. I want to go to school with this ghetto blaster in my hand. I don't know how I man. I should carry it was such a big thing, it was heavy, but I did it. I spent a thousand dollars on my mother thought it was crazy. But you know what? That's what I, the example I want to make want against versus need. Okay? Investment versus consumption. Consumption, you know what? We, we all eat. I mean, sometimes uh, I heard uh, today on radio a special program about multivitamins and uh, different kinds of vitamins that marketing groups put together that we all need to take these vitamins and they charge you thirty forty dollars for a bottle of vitamin it was on CFRA local radio AM radio forty dollars and the expert doctor that is part of CFRA okay uh, basically he said that's just a marketing gimmick for thirty five dollars you can buy yourself a lot of fresh grapes apples and different kind of fruits and vegetables and just eat that in terms of just because a pill could never replace what these fruits and vegetables can give you so uh, that's just marketing don't fall for it it's huge and it's going to go on right and at the end of the day you if you want to eat something we'll eat it and it's gone with our products i wear my stuff is it consumable let me see i wear a different watch when i want to i take care of my present a little bit more than the others but i wear my watches every day my rings my wallet, I mean, my wallet I use all the time. The shoes that I wear to my meetings. I mean, I have so many things that, uh, that from Global Wall Trade, on leather goods and all that. And their investment. While they're making me my money, building my business, they're gaining in value. All right? Products can be shared. When we are in other programs, other companies like health and nutrition or telecommunication, how are we going to change, you share our products? Here we can. We just share with people, look what we got, and people, you know, they just get blown away by it, and they get their own. They're gorgeous, and they're exciting. That is something that doesn't matter who you are, you will be excited about something. You guys have seen me in the past how I got excited over shoes, when I got excited over my president watch, when I got excited over my uh, kingdom ring, when I got excited over, I mean, different things, right? I mean, uh, uh, so now I can tell you, because I'm always 
bugging here, how oh, I want my products fast, how oh, I want my products fast. You know, when the Conquest was out, I know they had it in stock, and they did not want to let me have it till the convention. I kind of got <laughs> upset with them because they would not. They said, no, we're going to do a product release, and you can have it then. So that's how excited I was about getting it, right? And our IA program. I am able to put my monthly IA in my IA account. That way I'm qualified for accumulation of the volume so I can get paid my commissions and bonuses and save for an item that I want. I mean, we have countless examples. All right, Curtis Boudreau in university had an IA, accumulated his IA for a couple of years. And on at the convention on the stage, he went on his knee, and he proposed to his girlfriend at the time, wife today, with a Ferry Marsh twenty thousand dollar ring. Now let me see, which student is able to purchase a twenty thousand dollar Ferry Marsh ring to propose? Okay, but he was able to because he accumulated his IA. I do it all the time. Chauncey was complaining earlier that he bought all the shoes and he's got no IA left. You know, myself. I went from, I don't know, a few thousand in IA down to a few hundred today. Just one purchase. So, and this is all for myself. I sold some of this stuff, but most stuff is for me, I'll be honest. So, IA is unbelievable. This is another reason why people stay with Global All Trade, stay with this program, stay with this company. Um, high quality products. Again, look it up, guys. Compare, see. If there's something, these things are unbelievable. Remember, heritage manufacturing dates back to 1880s. R&D never stops in this company. R&D is ongoing. Stuff that was released today has been in the works for the last three years. If you don't know by now, you'll, you'll, you'll get to know soon how tough Ramin and Sanaz are in terms of quality. They get prototype, prototype sent to them, they send it back. Prototype sent to them, they use it, abuse it, they send it back till they get the perfect product at hand. Only then and only then they get it gets released to us. Okay? Uh, retail profit. Okay? Uh, our retail profit is unbelievable. Up to 100% we can earn in retail profit. How do we do retail? Catalogs, home branding parties, internet. There's a lot of different trainings on that alone that we can earn up to 100% in retail profit. Products are reliable, all right? These are high quality products. They are absolutely gorgeous. I be wearing my Conquest every day almost. I wear my Aries. Recently I don't wear it that much because my son's getting on my case because it's his, he says. But I wear my Aries all the time. I mean, all the GWT watches that I have, I wore them on like regular basis. And not one single issue with any one of them, except for the ones that I got five, six years ago. I noticed the other day when I was going to Montreal, I went to pick it up, two of them finally ran out of battery. And I don't know how they lasted five and a half years, but they lasted five and a half years, the battery is out, so I got to change the battery in them. Otherwise, I've never had an issue with any one of my products. Okay? And they're safe. Okay? Safe. Now, uh, we talked about the industry, that's one leg of the tripod. You got to make sure that you are solid. You understand what you're involved in. You don't iffy about, well, I don't know about the industry. Well, my neighbor said this, and my boss said that, and I have this friend uh, that's dropped out of high school, but uh, still, I respect his opinion. He told me it's no good. You got to make sure you understand the industry you're in. It's very, very powerful industry. All right. We talked about the company. You got to make sure you believe in your company because if you're not strong in your belief to the company, again, that's an equal strong, important leg that needs to be strong. Remember, we're going to put weight on this, right? Now, the third leg of the tripod is yourself. Okay. We all need to make sure that we believe in ourselves. It's easier said than done, but you know what? There's ways that you can get yourself to become that person, become that individual, all right? Uh, uh, basically, uh, okay, uh, two hands, two feet, okay. Uh, 
He says, we all made equal, we all have two hands, two feet, two ears, one mouth, one head. Um, basically, uh, you got to look at, you know, people out there. To me, it's the way I look at things. I was taught this at a very young age, and that's thanks to my mom. My mother used to say, um, I used to make a compliment about a car that I would buy, or uh, you know, a helicopter or a ship or something like that. There was some stuff that everybody drooled over and they all said, I wish, I wish, I wish. And my mother used to say, you do not wish. He taught us, based on what she had done at a very young age, she went against all odds to go from a young girl from a religious family that was married off at an early age to become a high, uh, you know, uh, high-end diplomat to represent the country in different parts of the world with the husband, the straight husband that she had. She went the distance. She bought the biggest house when she was still in the teen, teenage years married with a kid. The high, the most high-end uh, appliances and all the family, they told her who did she think she was to go and buy all of these things at a, such a young age. And believe me, it's not because her husband dished out the cash. Her husband probably thought the same way as her parents did, her family did, but she said to me and my brother, listen, if there is something that people make and you see other people drive, you see other people own, you see other people wear, whether it's a high-end jewelry, gold, whatever, if they make it and there's other people wear it, then you, you should too and you could too. Don't ever think, how am I going to pay for this? If I'm going to be able to pay for this, don't think about, well, I go buy it. Uh, will I be able to pay for it? He says, no. She always said, figure out a way to pay for it. Do not limit yourself to what you see from your surroundings. Get out there, get it done. If it's out there, you deserve to have it. It's all up to you what you're going to do about it, right? So this is basically how she, uh, you know, taught us from early age that, uh, you know, go ahead. If it's out there, go get it. Here, the mindset is very important, okay? Uh, is it true that people are born as salespeople? You know what? The answer could, could vary. I mean, some people say, say yes, some people say no. But I believe we are. Because as a toddler, we have, I have a three-year-old now, he just turned three. He knows how to sell him his idea to me. He knows how to get out of me what he wants. He's barely three years old. And he knows how to sell himself to me. He knows how to sell me an idea why I should give him what he wants. My daughter five years old. She comes to me today and she has an iPad. And I just got her older brother, seven year old, a cell phone because he needs to have a cell phone. I need him to, you know, call, you know whatever. So she comes to me, goes, Daddy, he goes, I cannot wait till I get my, I don't want another iPad. I cannot wait till I get my cell phone too. I never promised her a cell phone, but she was so sweet. <laughs> and the way she was all giddy, and she knows I didn't promise her that. But now what are we going to do? You know what I mean? She's a salesperson, she is. So are we all salespeople? Depends on how badly we want something. Here we don't have to sell anything. Here we share stuff. But you get my point. You understand what I'm trying to say. Okay? Uh, you, we basically can get anything done as long as we put it in our mind. And you know what? Uh, myself, I, uh, when I got started in the industry, I did not uh, have anything free for me. I mean, in the industry, those that have been around for a while, they know. Tapes we got to pay for, VHS videos we have to pay for, live webinar, live seminars we have to pay for. I'm talking in the thousands. One was for uh, time management with Brian Tracy. The other one was for inner self with Anthony Robbins. Then there was another one with John Kalish. And I mean the list went on and on and on. We spent tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars in ourselves in learning and key, how to keep. We had to learn how to keep ourselves motivated. And I still do today. I'm a human being just like everyone else. And I notice sometimes my motivation, you probably think, how is that possible for someone that's making the kind of money you make to, to, to be not as motivated? You know what? We are people. People are people regardless of their income. And I need to keep myself motivated as well. My motivation is my kids, their future, and their future. That keeps me going. Personal development courses today, it's free. A lot of them are free. We have the best of the best of forensic. I mean, those of you that attended it, you know what I'm talking about. 
those who have not attended it or new, do not miss this. I owe most of what I've learned and my success here is to Forensic. I attend, I've never missed one, and the new woman on sale, guess what, I was the first one to buy the per uh, purchase my ticket. And I believe Rene Leha, the second millionaire of the company, was the second person to buy this. The reason I know is because Sanaz was on the phone with me. I had a problem, I was trying to get mine, so I bought mine, and Sanaz goes, oh, Rene just bought his too. The first two was myself and Rene. So what does that tell you? Why are we buying our tickets so far? Why are you so anxious to buy these tickets? Because there is no, in my opinion, there's no personal development, business development course above forensic. Whether it comes to personal relationship, whether it comes to your traditional business, or most importantly when it comes to global world trade business. Do not miss the upcoming forensic. It is a must, not even recommended, it's a must if you're half serious about your business. Think positive. You gotta think positive. Uh, last week and a half, I had some unexpected challenges. Um, a lot of it had to do with the deep freeze, uh, issues with the house, the furnace quitting, the roof leaking, I mean you name it, it happened to me in the course of 10 days. And I looked around and I said, you know what, I'm smiling, I want to keep my, keep a positive, I want to keep it straight and not let this get to me, but it's becoming tough. Because when I think I got rid of something and there's something else that pops up, it's like a curse or something, but you know what, I stay positive. Everything is great today. I stay positive, so you have to think positive. There's movies like Secret. Watch it. If you haven't seen it, watch it. All right. Uh, I was in a, I was invited to go make a movie a couple of years ago in Colorado. Okay, and uh, basically, it's uh, uh, basically I had to go all the way to Colorado, and they put this documentary together similar to Secret. It's called The Forward, and I went in there, and this video is uh, uh, about 20 of the top uh, MLMers, networkers, um, with various level of income that are in this video, that are in this movie. The secret is one and the foreword is the other one. That's the one I'm in. Only one stopping you is you. We are our own biggest limitations. This is something I've always said and always will. I have told you, when I got started in this business, I told my team, my young team at the time, I said, we are our own biggest limitations. The way I look at it is, Ramin, this company has given us a signed checkbook, signed. What we need to do is go out there and fill in the blanks, fill in the amount, what we want to get paid, what we think we're worth getting paid. Let's get out there and get it done. Let's get out there and do it. And it still, still stands today. Variable, free-flowing binary, go out there, Bring value to what you do and get paid highly. Share these gorgeous products and get paid highly. Share this out of this world compensation plan and get paid highly. All right. Let's let's uh, you know. Don't forget that. <coughs> you know, we have people. I have seen people. Again, 25 years, right? I have seen all types of people that are successful. All right. There are all kinds of people that join this business from all different walks of life that become very, very successful. Take a look around. Do we have only a group of doctors, lawyers, or professionals that are successful? No. We got male, female, old, young, uh, uh, in a rich country, in a poor country, in a middle class country. I mean, all four corners of the world, all places in between. Do not stereotype anyone. You don't know who it's going to be. Your next millionaire. You don't know who it's going to be. Believe me, of all the things I've known I've seen over the years, I did some stereotyping myself. And only recently I was reminded in a big way how wrong I was to stereotype. I mean, look at Nigeria. I stereotyped Nigeria. I never thought Nigeria would be on a map of world at direct sales. But then again, how wrong was I? Don't stereotype anyone. Share this opportunity equally with absolutely everyone. I hear it every day. Oh, he won't be interested because he's too busy. Well, let him decide for himself he's too busy. Your job is to create curiosity and show him or her what this business is all about, what our products are. Let them decide for themselves. Do not stereotype anyone. That's the biggest mistake you'll make. Okay? 
excuses and reasons. We always have people have so many different excuses and reasons, and you know what? I try to live by you know uh, live by that rule myself. Um, you know, there's something I gotta do, and for some reason I see myself walking by this obstacle, uh, passing by this thing that needs to get done, and I'll get to it. I'll get to it. I'll get to it, and then I all of a sudden snap, and I'm thinking about it. Why am I letting this wait till tomorrow? I'm here right now. What am I going to do? Go there and sit down and relax? Okay, well, let me put this away first, then I'll relax. I'll just use an example. And I find, I figure out, I notice myself, I get so much done when I am sharp and, you know, going by that rule. <laughs> so, excuses and reasons don't get things done. Taking action gets things done and gets you results. We all, we all, you're always here. Get past the nose. Let me see. In global world trade, we have two teams, the left and the right. And we all know we need an ace on our left team and an ace on our right team. And when I say well, ace, because there's only four aces in the pack of the deck of cards, right? There are only four aces. There's a lot of tens and nines and kings and queens, and uh, I think there's a bunch of jokers in that pack too. You got to get past all of these in order to get to the aces. But I tell you what, when they get to the aces, they're worth it, right? We're looking for the aces here. We're looking for uh, the doers. We're looking for those guys who see the opportunity, understand the opportunity, and say yes to us. But in order for us to get to these yes people, we got to get the nodes. You might get lucky and first person yes, say yes. Or you might get unlucky and first 20 say no. It doesn't really matter. The only way you get to the yeses is if you go through the no's. At the end of the day, stay consistent and keep going for the no's. Because you know every no out of the way, you're one step closer to the yeses. Okay? Uh, they have a slot machine examples here. I'm not even going to talk about that. And basically, just go through the notes. Okay. The only way we we'll lose in global wealth trade is when we stop. That is a fact. I mean, we have countless examples around us. The only way we will fail is if we stop. We only stop learning, okay, when we stop. We can't be quitting. And you know what? Uh, this is something, another thing that I remember clearly. Um, this guy, this was by an a Olympic champion, actually. This individual had won Olympic gold in, uh, uh, I could I guess, say the, 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 the event. It was a relay. They won, he had won a gold medal for Canada at the Olympics. And he said to me, was this, Robert Esme, his name was. Is, he's still, <laughs> he's still alive and strong. Um, he said to me, was, you know what? Most people do 90% of the work because I said to him, you know what, there's so many people that I know personally. They were super quick in high school, yet alone in the college now. Why is it that these people set these crazy numbers in the earlier stages without professional help are not around or at least trying to go for the Olympics and the World Championship? And he said to me, 90% plus people do you know what? 90% of the work only to quit in the last 10%. All right? And this slide says halfway. Well, according to Robert, 90% of the way. People do 90% of the work only to quit the last 10%. All right? So you do not want to quit. The only way you're losing global wealth trade is if you quit. Your why. Why is very important. Okay? What motivates you to achieve greatness? We all have different reasons. Some people want a penthouse in the sky. Some people want to have hot cars. Some people want to have an island of their own. Some people want to uh, travel all over the world. Some people want to go to Africa and different parts of the world to help children. Some people want to make uh, a Boys and Girls Club. Some people want to uh, go live on Mars. Uh, believe it or not, there's about eight people put their name on the list of people that are going to fly to Mars. One-way ticket, by the way. It's a one-way ticket. Uh, for millions of dollars, they put their name on the list, knowing that it's a one-way ticket. They want to go to Mars in year 2027. Anyways, we're not going to talk about that too much. But you know what? Whatever it is that motivates you, keep it at the forefront of your thoughts. For me, I told you guys what it was. It's my kids. 
That is what drives me. That's what fuels me. That's what pushes me on a daily basis. And you know what? It's a constant smile on my face because I see uh, I'm not done yet with my mission, but I have accomplished my target so far. And I'm continuing on going that, and that drives me. That motivates me. All right? When I got started the first 18 months, I'm not going to tell you it was easy. It was not easy. But I'll tell you, especially my very first six months, doing six, seven, eight, nine, ten tours a day, each tour had to be done manually. That means two and a half hours of talking for me. I lose my voice towards the end of the night. I get very little sleep because I have to go to my job in the morning. I get three hours sleep. But you know what? It was well worth it. Okay? So get yourself motivated. Find out what your why is. Uh, are you too comfortable right now? I was. I joined in 2005. And because I knew there was no flushing of points and uh, sales would accumulate for me and I can get to it at any time. Uh, it's sort of like a gym membership, right? You buy a gym membership and you end up not going. Because you know the gym is there, you know it's yours, you can go there any time. You say tomorrow, 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 tomorrow. Until the doctor says you got a coronary in your heart, you got a problem with your health, you got blood pressure, you got, I don't know. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's not the good reasons, but it is a reason why people start going all of a sudden to the gym. All of a sudden they start watching what they eat, right? For me, it was my kids. I needed to have that financial and the time freedom for them, not so much for me. When my boy was born, my life changed, my reasons changed, and my sense of urgency changed. That's when I got to work, applied myself hard, and you know it happened for me. So this is basically a little bit about the why. All right, um, I have a lot of people like I talk to on a daily basis, and uh, some of them, you know, they ask me what should I do? I want to get started or I just got started? And I tell them, be coachable. All right? We have the best of the best of the best of everything, whether it's our online training, whether it's in-house training, whether it's our culture, upline, uh, corporate. Uh, we have the best of the best available to us. Now, you need to be coachable. I have people come in there, um, you know, that join this business, and for one reason or the other, something went wrong with their other business, or they're not doing as well, or whatever. And they have every reason to do this. That's why they join here. But yet, they're not coachable. They think they know best. They think they know how to do this. They think that uh, what they're hearing is invaluable to them. I've had people saying, oh, I don't need to hear this. Or I went to the boot camp once, but I didn't take any notes. Uh, yeah, I've already heard that. Or uh, what does he or she can teach me? They're just babies. Well, let me see. These babies have printouts. These babies have already proven whether you, <laughs> you know, think so or not, these guys can benefit you. They benefit me. Okay? So I tell people to be coachable. <clears throat> okay? Every good leader was once a good student. You got to remember that. All right? Uh, so I tell them. I, I was taught, again, another thing I was taught was my very first program, some 20 some odd years ago, I was told, first $50,000 goes, because the person knew I want to go all the way with this. He knew I wanted to have massive income. I wanted to have massive residual. I wanted to have a massive team. I wanted to absolutely make it to the very top. And his word to me was, and this guy was the first billion dollar man, right? So it's not talking about just somebody give me advice. This gentleman was the first one to hit a billion dollar in sales, in direct sales. So I highly valued what he had to say to me. He said to me, pedal to the metal for the first 50 months or $50,000 per month. And with the company that you're with, you're already having these kind of people generating that kind of income. Correct? This is correct. He says, do what they tell you. Mirror them. Watch them. Try to be like them. Work Take on the work habits, listen to what I got to teach you, and go out there and apply it. And I never forgot that, okay? Um, for most parts anyways. We all have our own faults at some point, and we think we know better, but I try to uh, be conscious of that, okay? And I try to not do too many things my way. I try to do and mirror these successful people in my program at the time. And 
Whenever I did that, a lot of it worked. I went through a lot of trial and error. I did a lot of things that did not work. So what happened was, not only slowed me down, not only wasted my time, brought my income down, it brought my team's effort and output out as well because my team started to follow me of what I did, all right? So um, let's be coachable, all right? Uh, success is going no to no with enthusiasm, okay? So basically you want to go through the no's and you want to, like uh, another thing I said at the beginning, I got started, I knew where I was going with this, I knew where this program was heading, I know where this company was going, and it didn't matter to me if I got 20, 30 people in a row said no to me. I went next. We had a saying, I think we still have it somewhere here, but this saying goes back some 25 years. I was told some, some will this, do this business, some won't, so what next? There are over 7 billion people on this planet, our products are pre-approved internationally. We have uh, technology that reaches in all four corners of the world. So hey, what if I go through five or ten no's? Okay? Uh, basically, definitely insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. So um, uh, just uh, you know, get, just to go over things real quick, tripod of belief is just like a regular tripod. It needs to be solid. Because what happens if your tripod of belief is not solid in global world trade, industry yourself, what's going to happen? The moment you get those no's, those no's are like a weight that you put on this tripod. The first no, a little bit of weight. Second no, a little bit of weight. The spouse says this is terrible, more weight. All of a sudden, a neighbor or boss says you're crazy, more weight. Sooner or later, this tripod is going to give. And the tripod will not be standing without one of those legs. You need to have, you have you need to be strong in all those three areas, and you need to make sure you master that. Make sure you apply that. And any time that you feel, be honest, be open. There is an area in your tripod that's not as strong as it should be. Talk to your my five. Talk to your uplines. Talk to your leaders. Talk to successful people. They don't have to be upline. Contact them. You need to be, uh, you know, you need to be strong in all areas, all three legs. And if you can do that, there is no challenge big enough for you not to overcome. You will reach the, the top of this composition plan. You will live the dream, and, and and for generations to come, and you will have a blast doing it. Uh, you know, I've been having blast after blast, and it's just it keeps getting better and better. So that's a little bit I wanted to talk about. And at this point. I'm going to pass the call back to our uh, awesome host, uh, Shinaro uh, Richardson out of St. Martin. So, Shinaro, are you there? Yes, I am. Can you hear me? Yes, I am. I'm here. And, uh, you know, if there's any comments or questions, uh, please go ahead and let me know. Okay, wonderful. First of all, wow, wow, wow. Thank you so, so much. Um, National Ambassador Mr. Reza Mitzel for that amazing training this evening. I hope everyone on the call, we have a jam-packed call tonight, so I do hope everyone took lots of notes um, about our training this evening.